Gotta say this technically, because I know some of you might still defend her. So yes, technically she hasn't failed yet. All she's agreed to do is just go to lunch for some money. So that's five hundred now. We go eat. I come back. I get another five hundred. That's a thousand. You already got the first five. All you gotta do now is go eat and come back. What you think? Real quick, we ain't gonna get too far. Okay. Okay, so you in. Okay, let's do it. Now look, I'm gonna add one more thing. Now you ain't got to, you don't have to, you know, go for it, but why not? If I give you another 500 right now, all you gotta do is give me a kiss. I give you one more 500 dollars. That's a whopping 1500 dollars. And all you gotta do is just get one little kiss. This is one kiss. Like right now? Right. Listen, it's just, and again, you don't have to. You don't have to do this. I'm just, you know what I'm saying? Why not? I'm glad the vibe is right. We're in the rolls. The atmosphere is sitting right. You're getting a good massage. Are you feeling comfortable right now? You know, so just a quick little kiss. You know what I'm saying? He's giving her a choice. It's all on her choice. You know what I'm saying? Just a quick little kiss. You know what I'm saying? What you think? i give you another five. That's $1,500. Easy. Look quick. $1,500. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. Nah, bro. You with the hand. Me. Damn. Okay, then. You got some soft ass lips, I see. <laughs> okay, let's go. So let's go and get some food real quick. Uh, oh, shit. damn, I left my wallet in the house. Oh, give me two seconds. I'll be right back, all right? Give me two seconds. Oh, wait, why is he like a running? They were in the car for a that's what I'm saying, but why did he run out like that? That was She's still in the car. Is she? Is he going back in the car? Like, I don't get what's happening. Nah, oh. I, I knew she was money hungry, bro. I knew she was just going to wait for the right opportunity, bro. This was insane. Like I said, since the beginning, the stakes were freaking high on this test. And I was really, really ready for her. She literally just gave up a good man and a solid long-term relationship. To me, there's only three reasons why she would do this. Number one, she is just extremely money hungry. Number two, she probably thought to herself, oh, Dylan's about to go to the NFL. He's just going to leave it for another girl anyways. Or number three, maybe she just didn't believe that Dylan would ever make it to the NFL. Maybe I'm missing something. What do you guys? I don't even gotta hear no more. <laughs> it's cool though, I got the answer that I needed to get. <laughs> she held it. Now look. Nah, you good, bro. You good. I was gonna say, bro, nah, I don't you, want you to nah, swing me when I'm over here. Nah, nah, you I don't want you to swing me when I'm over here. I was like, I'm gonna swing. Yeah, bro, it's, it's over, bro. She took the big one. Cool. Well, it's clear she just won't lose. She, 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 she legit held you in everything, dude. She went in, bro. It's, even better. Oh, Call it out. Yeah. Wait. Even better. Yeah, yeah. Wait. On his, on his nose. Wait, what? On his nose, yeah. Yeah. That, oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. It's like no it's, I mean, it's messed okay. up on her face. Okay. I'm going to bring it up when we down there. It's like all here. He I just hope, bro, this. You, nah, you, you did you did what you were supposed to do. Bro, I just want you to swing. As long as we go. Okay. As long as you all swing. I was like, you did, you did what you were supposed to do. I respect I told you to go full fledged. You went full fledged. At the end of the day, let her on. She'll kiss somebody for $1,500. That's my thing, bro. She'll go even further. I, I, little 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 I have a little faith, but it's, it's cool. Man. You give her a chance to back out. I, I, that's what I like. I'll try to be that's, like, hey. That's what's good, because you're like, each time you're like, you don't have to. I ain't gonna lie, it's just over. She won't win that thousand. My man's Antonio is a dog. He went in for the makeout session, the neck kisses, and everything. No wonder he was scared. The Elon was gonna go off on him. I've been here too long. How long have I been here? Just, just tell me we're using the restroom. Okay, okay, okay. okay. So what do you want? I want to confront her. But I want to, want to, her. I want to do it by myself though. I don't want it to be like oh, you a whole. Do yeah, I don't want a whole team because if she oh. sees she oh. immediately running, yeah, I want to put her on blast. I want. Oh, to oh you and your players. Okay, yeah, I like this. Like, I yeah, like this. She squandered that opportunity. It's cool. It is what it is, bro. We about to put her on blast now. Yeah. We're about to know. It's cool. So you want me? You want to do? So I just bring her in and you let him just do his thing. Your you call. You want to confront her on the walls? In the walls, you want to bring her in? Let's bring her in. I'm about to go down there and bring her in, bro. We gonna do like. You want to be? You want to be already like down there? Like when he brings you in? Oh, some players. Hey, yeah, bro. That's player. Nah, bro. That's player. Bro. Okay. Oh, okay. Put me in here waiting already. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Yeah. This might be crazy. Antonio, you gotta make up an excuse. Okay, I was uh, in the restroom. This was mental. Daylon wanted to confront Sierra, but he didn't want to do it at the rules, and he didn't want to do it with any cameras. Which meant that Antonio had to bring her inside, and he would confront her then. Crazy sh We had no idea how this was gonna turn out. But all I can tell you guys is I hope you guys have your talkies, because you guys already know.
was probably thinking to herself, what the hell is he doing? But the good thing was that we didn't have any comparisons. Who cares if she got the things that really? All I'm saying had to do is friends. So yeah, we just go on in, talk to the person a little bit. Talk to I'm going to be able to go eat. You good? Still look amazing? Come on, man. They're going she back in. She, like, like, she looks guilty. She's not a walk and shit fire or shit, man. She looks really guilty. Oh. Oh. The worst thing we do is we can get some food another time. We can get some maybe like next time. But yeah, we definitely gotta hit a noble. Now that we got a little more time, we can do noble next time. Alright, come on, let's go ahead and see Preston what she's doing. What's up, baby girl? What are you doing here? What's up? How you doing? You good? Yeah, I'm not doing something. Antonio ain't tell you? About to have lunch and, you know, go out to eat and wine and dine and... Yeah, but what are you doing? How's dog sitting going? Is it been going good? Yeah, fine. How was the day? Tell me about it. I want to hear all about your day. Oh, we just, like, talked about and... You can relax a little bit. You don't got to be so tense. I just... I'm not tense. What are you, what are you doing here? I came, I came to see you. I can't come see my, my baby while she at work. Do you guys know each other? Like, how did you get in the house? Don't worry about it. It's cool. It's cool, though. Big. So what else? What else went on today? I mean nothing. What? Just, just dog sitting. Yeah, just. What? What are you? What are you doing here? Nothing. I wanted to see you. I just wanted to ask you though, how your day was going. How the dog sitting going? Good. You sure? Why are you? Y'all do nothing else. No. You sure? Now you know I got mad love for you. You know that, right? I got mad love for you. Y'all sure you ain't do nothing else? He ain't agree to pay for nothing for you. He ain't agree to do nothing for you. He ain't agree to no transactions of any kind. I'm just talking out my side of my neck, huh? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking crazy, huh? Baby, I'll give you one more chance, baby. Tell me the truth. Man, this is all y'all, man. Baby, all, baby, all. you know I can tell you lying, right? Why are you here, baby? You know I can tell you lying, right? I'm not lying. So y'all ain't kiss? No. Baby. One more time. No, I didn't I didn't kiss anyone, I promise. Like I don't one know what you're, you're getting at. Like I didn't kiss anyone. One more time. Like what are you talking about? Did y'all do anything that I would find disrespectful? No. Why are you saying that? Why are you lying to me? I'm you know lying. I know when you lying though. I'm not lying. What are you doing here? It's cool though. It's cool though. It's cool though, cause I knew you was a little trifling ass woman, bro. It's cool though. I knew you was just after money, and you could just tell me up front if that's what you wanted. I told you, no, no, no. I told you I wanted to help me, and you're not that. You just after money, bro. It's cool though. It's cool though. You gonna still lie? You gonna still lie? I got you on camera. I got you on camera. I have you on camera. I saw the conversation. I heard the conversation, and I saw y'all kiss. I heard everything. I got it all on camera. I saw you make out with this man. Damn, I missed the cue like a bunch of times. Caught it. Let's go. Okay. $500 though? $500. I don't take care of you enough. You agreeing to go to Noble and go out to lunch and all this? Like, you wasn't even mentioning the dog no more. You just was agreeing straight to it. I told you I got you on camera. I gave you multiple opportunities. Who are these people? I gave you multiple opportunities. You were in on Listen, this ain't got nothing to do with me. This got y'all. This all y'all, not me. Then I asked y'all. kissed him because he was giving me money to help pay for the rent. You know how crazy you sound? You don't even chip in for rent. You don't even chip in for rent. Bro. Bro. You know I keep 10 plus on me every day. What you talking about? What you talking about? Who broke? You ain't have to pay. You ain't have to pay for nothing since we've been together. So you were in on this. Listen, what you talking about? What were you intrigued like? The fact about the fact First of the so matter is the fact. Really getting on my nerves. Now you gonna gaslight me? Yeah, no, because you gonna yeah, gaslight no, me. Like, you gonna gaslight like, me? That's cute. Like, that's cute. We been done, guys, yes, bro. So, so you yeah, just, just so you know, bro. this entire thing was just a loyalty test. Yeah, like, we're bro, just, you we're just helping I gave you multiple chances. So insecure, he don't have no money. I had to help him. Yeah, okay. Oh, I have to babysit because he didn't want to help me. She ain't got no money. No, you. Y'all see the bottom of her feet? Dirty as hell. Yeah, okay. Nah, step, step, step. step. No, nah, you cool, step. Nah, it's cool. You it's cool. Hey, bro, don't hit her up, bro. It ain't worth it, bro. <laughs> she broke anyway. She broke anyway, bro. It's cool. Yeah, it's cool. Don't do that, bro. You don't do it, bro. Step, step. Use them two feet you got. Try for the ass. No, I shouldn't. It's cool. It's cool, bro. I was looking for a helpmate. Instead, I got a trifling woman that just want my money. 
Well, bro, at least you now you know. Leave, if nothing else, you know that she wasn't here for you. It's more so here for the money. Nah, so it's, it's, it's cool, bro. Once she see me sign that contract, once she see them numbers everywhere, then she gonna wanna, hey, babe, what's, I'm sorry. Uh -huh. No, it's cool. You know what I'm saying? I guess I'm officially single. Y'all, yeah. boy, y'all, he's officially single. Didn't work out. <laughs> Hit him up. Let me heal for a couple months first, Let and then I'll be ready to pop back out. But it, like I said, <laughs> it, it is what it is, man. It's her loss at the end of the day. She missed out on a real man. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I ain't tripping. It's more than a seat. At least it happened now, not two nah, years. No, facts. Years exactly. Years exactly. Like, exactly. You know, I'm glad now. that guy revealed that for sure for the cheating, conniving woman she is. It's cool. Because yeah. there's probably more out there like that. You know, I hope all y'all get exposed too. Violet is my comfort right now. You good? You need Violet? No, it's not. I'm just <laughs> <laughs> Yes, do you need Violet? Violet can help. I mean, she did such. All right, what's going on YouTube, man? Welcome back to another video with TC. Now check this out. In this video that we just seen, I want you to guys, I want you guys to really understand that that's going to be a pivotal point in his life and a pivotal point in most men's lives when things like this happen. But I'm going to tell you this, it does not have to happen to you like that. You know what I'm saying? You can listen to what I'm saying and if you're not in a relationship before you get into a relationship and something like this happens, you can get the knowledge that I'm giving you right now and you won't have to go through the same thing that he's going through. So listen, obviously we've seen a clip, you know, man getting ready to go to the NFL. He already has money. He was already on a team. He's a free agent getting ready to sign another contract. So he wanted to see if his girl was loyal before he went ahead and signed the million dollars worth of me. Or I don't know exactly how much, but the million dollars worth of contract, whatever. Now, I want every man to understand this and every man who, you know, all the information that's pushed out online, you know, become a man that she won't leave and that she won't cheat on. Um, I want y'all to know that a lot of times that's not possible in this society. And I'm not saying this to discourage any of y'all, but I also want you to know that you shouldn't be, you know, worth, uh, you shouldn't put your worth of her not leaving you based off of, you know, I'm gonna go to the gym, I'm gonna get the best body I can. I'm gonna go, get rich i'm gonna be on my purpose and i'm gonna be a good man because think about it he did all of that he was even a good man to the point where he told her hey listen i will take care of you you know you ain't gotta pay for nothing they in a relationship right now and and she ain't she ain't gotta pay for nothing you know what i'm saying he said i will take care of you and the family that we create and I will also take care of your family. That's the type of money that that man is making. You get what I'm saying? Not every man is going to touch that amount of money. That's just the good, kind heart that he had. You know what I'm saying? He told her that he just wanted to help me. You know? And he had everything that most women look for. That was satisfying to her hypergamy, everything that he had. He was purpose-driven. You don't just wake up and in the nfl that's a purpose that is something that you have to continuously work at for years and years and years you know what i'm saying so he was purpose driven he you know he 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 sexually penetrated her hypergamy because he was in the nfl he was making more money than he was in the top one percent of earners for sure he had the six-pack abs you get what i'm saying because he worked in the nfl you got to work hard we've seen the dude so he got six-pack abs he's a defensive back in the nfl um and Multiple women probably wanted them. You get what I'm saying? So that was satisfying to her hypergamy. But let me tell you something. A woman's hypergamy is never going to be fully satisfied because women are choosers, man. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know if y'all ever heard it. Wear the, right, wear the right clothes and you get chose because that is a saying from a pimp. And I want you guys to understand, man, anytime that you go out, this is why you always have to present yourself in a manner where you can get chose because it does not matter what a woman has going on, man. Now, I have seen women with my own two eyes cheat with men who, and it's, it doesn't always come down to the looks, man, because I've seen women with, my, women with my own two eyes cheat with men who don't look, um, what don't, don't look the part. Like they're cheating with men who, okay, you, you, your husband might be doing this and you might be cheating with a construction worker. You know what I'm saying? So I want y'all to understand that about women and understand that about life that you never will have a, dealing with a woman is never going to be a clear pathway because if it was, they wouldn't, she wouldn't have cheated, you know? Now, 
Think about it. This is a lesson for everybody watching, men and women. What did she lose versus what he lost? You get what I'm saying? Think about the lesson. And if you're a woman watching this and you decide to cheat on your man and whatever, have at it. Because at the end of the day, society is going to back you up. They're going to say you did the right thing. Women, Other women are going to say she's just being a woman and boom, boom. But think about this. I want you to think about what will you lose if you lose a good man who's on his grind and whatever. What did she lose versus what he lost? Now, a lot of times I'm going to tell you right now, women, women be broke as fuck. We just know that to be true, like flat across the board. You know what I'm saying? Most times women are broke as hell. Women need men. I don't care what y'all say. You get what I'm saying? So she lost a man who was willing to take care of her and her family. He was finna be making that kind of money. He said he was just kind hearted. He was a man of God. You get what I'm saying? And he treated her right. And before y'all jump in the comments, oh, she might have been going through some of the relationship. That's not the case. If you look at the clip, in the clip, in the video, or go and look at the whole video. She say, oh, he treats me very good. So what did she lose? Somebody who's going to do all of that. What did he lose? A cheater. When you lose a cheater, when a woman, when a woman proves her true colors to you, you're not losing nothing at all, bro. Like, and I think women don't understand that. Like, women think they're the catch. Only way that you can be the catch as a woman is if you are loyal. I promise you, there's no other way you can be a catch. I don't care what kind of money you got. I don't care what kind of career you got. I don't care if you hit the lottery tomorrow. If a, as a woman, you can never be the catch unless you're loyal. I want you to really understand that. Look me in my eyes when I say this. If you're a woman watching this, you will never, ever be the catch unless you are loyal. Because think about it, bro. And this is just real talk. Most relationships that end, if you're watching this, okay, your parents got a divorce, okay, the relationship ended. Bro, the man is always going to be up. The woman be the one struggling. Now, whatever, case, whatever the case may be, if the man cheated or the woman cheated, most times it's the woman, but a lot of times the man cheat too, man. It's, it's a lot of grimy... Men out here who cheat, you know, do what they do, whatever. But most times, bro, the, one, the women be, you look at the woman years later, bro, and you look at the man, the man be up, the woman be broke. Now look at this position. If y'all don't believe what I'm saying, just look at these. The richest women in the world right now are rich because they divorced billionaire and millionaire men now with the point that i want to get to before i end this video that i want you guys to really understand is that if you have a woman that's not loyal to you that has done you a disservice that has done you dirty like she did bro in this video she did do him dirty she kissed bro on the spot <laughs> one thing i will say i like how he handled this situation man he was just very you know poised and stoic about the situation man he just confronted her she lied he ain't call her out a name. I definitely respect that, man. Real talk. You get what I'm saying? That shows a lot of, uh, that shows, that shows a great deal on, on the, on his character, man. At the end of the day, she did what she did, man. But I, I really do respect how he handled that situation, man. I look to handle situations like that, you know, in the near future, man. I hope I can handle situations like that. But I, I say all that to say this, man, before I end this video, never let a woman tell you Oh, you don't make enough money for me to submit, for me to be loyal. You don't do this. Women are going to be women at the end of the day. And I want to end the video like this and say, if a woman does not like you how you are now, she never will like you. No matter how much money you make, no matter how much boom, boom, you can have everything. A six-pack abs, you can be in shape, you can have the best, uh, best braids, best dreads. If a woman doesn't like you as you are right now, bro, she never will. Because it's the rich man getting cheated on, the broke man getting cheated on, the middle class getting, men getting cheated on. And it's always with men, you know, maybe it's men on the same status. They portrayed the guy she cheated with to be a rich man. You know what I'm saying? So what do you think that he, what did he lose besides a woman that would have cheated with another rich man? And everybody's at different points of their life. This is not to down the woman. But she's a great example of what most women in the society would have done. So I want y'all to take that and understand that, look, man, a woman is only going to be loyal as her options. And if you took your girl right now, right, because a lot of men, I don't play these games in no relationship that I'm in. Like a lot of people be like, oh, if your girl go around her celebrity crush, she'll cheat. Now, check this out. That might be very true. 
But I'm gonna tell you why that's not funny. I'm gonna tell you that because when you when you finally get some money about yourself, bro, I'm gonna be honest, bro. When you finally get like one hundred to two hundred thousand dollars saved up, bro, you get to a point where it's like, bro, you don't you don't like you don't look at celebrities as celebrities once you hit a certain age, bro. You don't because you realize I'm a celebrity. What are they doing that I, I'm not doing? What are they? What are what are they have that I don't have, bro? We all could, you could, we all could shop on the same places. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, they might could do it more often, more frequently. You know what I'm saying? But most celebrities, bro, you can go buy a piece of clothing and you'll see a celebrity with it on. It's just that hypergamy infatuation. But as we see, man, sometimes even the dudes who satisfy a woman's hypergamy will get cheated on as well. So look, man. Hey, if you do think that your, if you finna get married in this society, in this generation, and you think your woman won't cheat on you, or you think your woman is the one for you, man, hats off to you, first of all, um, that's a big thing, but you need to take her on this channel, man, it's UDY, man, catching cheaters, man, look them up, book them, you get what I'm saying, this ain't no promotional video, but this is to save you and to save your money, man, that man just saved a whole lot of money for himself, and if you're a man watching this, man, you're probably very happy for him, man, and I'm glad, I was very happy for him when she did cheat, you know what I'm saying? Only because, bro, the amount of money that he's finna make and the amount of money that he could have lost when she actually revealed her true colors, man, once she, once he signed that marriage contract would have been detrimental to his career and would have made him wish he ain't signed the NFL contract in the beginning. You get what I'm saying? Because like I say, man, look, a man, as a man, you could lose a lot more than a woman, you know? And if she would have, she was just a wolf in sheep's clothing. Like most women in this society, like I say, most of these hoes ain't shit. You need to find you one that is. But make sure you take her on that UDY cheaters. You if you if you want to propose on in front of the world, it need to be when she passed the UDY cheaters uh episode, man. And it, it really don't it really don't matter. But yeah, man, look, that's the end of this video. Make sure to like, share, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you know my next video is dropping on the channel, man. Hey, man, look, I made this video for specific reasons, but I really want y'all to understand and take this message down that if you're not satisfying a woman hypergamy as you are, no amount of on your purpose, on this, on that, will make her stay loyal to you. Because if so, look at what just happened, man. But that's the end of the video. We're gone, man. TC out.